welcome back to my channel it's your girl azin williams how are y'all doing hope you guys are good hope you guys are fine if you're new to this channel kindly click on the subscription button click on the notification bell to let you know whenever i post any new video okay guys a lot has happened today and i'm here to give you guys the gist so you all know today is the birthday of chi chi first of all i'd like to say a very big happy birthday to her yes guys today she celebrates her 23rd birthday she posted some very beautiful but sexy pictures on social media yes guys now chi chi's age has caused a whole lot of wahala on social media like there's been a debate on if she's actually 23 or if she's older. Yes, I mean, a whole lot of people have been talking about her age. In fact, it even spiked a conversation about age deduction or age, people reducing their age, you know, all over Nigeria and why we actually do that. But before we get into all that, her fans decided to put a smile on her face. Yes, guys, they surprised her with lots and lots of goodies you know they gave her two million naira yes they gave her money cake or a money tower as i love to call it they gave her sneakers they gave her other jewelries they even gave her um give vouchers and all that and trust chi chi she was looking so beautiful yes guys she has always been an appreciative person like i saw i was on that live stream i saw how she you know laid down on the floor she was like overwhelmed by all the love that she got now that is the good side of her birthday now the bad side is a whole lot of people don't believe that she's actually 23 now some people have gone as far as digging out pictures from her past yes and you all know with social media what's that one app that you have to go to you know bring out old pictures of people facebook that's why i don't like that app anyways now people some people went on facebook to dig out pictures from her past to support their claim that she's not actually 23. Now, they went as far back as 2014 where they got these pictures and many other pictures while some others have issues with the whole one-year gap thing. Now, remember I told you guys from Big Brother profile and everything, it was 22. Then I stumbled upon a clip where she was telling i think it was shakes and bella or who you know that she's 21 years old i don't know if you guys remember the day you know that shakes was really like oh you are gen z and all that and she picked her fans yes guys people have been uploading that video to say okay why why is it that you say you are 21 here and i mean the next year instead of you to be turning 22 you are saying you are turning 23 now that being said the one that actually caught my attention is is this picture now you can see in this picture there's a man here there is chi chi and there is this beautiful baby girl who looks exactly like chi chi now so many people are alleging that chi chi was once married yes they are saying that this man you know is her husband you know whatever it is ex-husband or whatever it is and that she's been married before and the child here is her child now i also went to do my own investigations and somehow i stumbled upon you know some places where the this man was making reference to Chichi as his niece. So, um, from what I found out, it looks like this man is actually her uncle. But the question still remains: Could this be Chichi's child? This baby looks so much like Chichi. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section. Yes, guys. Another thing happened to Chichi today: her Twitter account was suspended. Yes. Now, some are alleging that it was reported, but you know, judging by this picture or some of the pictures she posted, it. It might be that she was flagged down because of nudity yeah anyways moving on i told you guys that this whole chichi's age thing sparked a conversation on social media which did not just involve big brother niger stands it also involved other people that are not big brother related like oap moet she had to put this up on her instagram story where she said lol lying about your age i feel is so silly like lie about anything but your age like didn't people grow up with you make zero sense but hey wait till i start b so basically she's saying what's the point of lying about your age when you have people you grew up with now um oap dot tune the energy god had this to say about this whole age reduction thingy that is like a plague in my country nigeria he said 
Aging is a crime in Nigeria. You don't they oh do abaya, you are old, stop dressing like this. Some of you have limited anyone growing up to think it's a it's bad to be older. We are too ageist. Is there a word like that? And that's why if you have grown bad attributes of lying about their age. Hmm. Well, I think there's some kind of truth in what Dotun said. Because the truth is this. When you tell somebody, oh, this is how old I am, and they see you doing something, they'll be like, ah, you're too old for this. I remember, you know, a whole lot of people it shamed Lucy when she was in the house and she was like 30. You know, they were like, oh, you are older, blah, 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 blah. You're not supposed to be doing this. You're not supposed to be doing that and all whatnot. So yeah, I mean, when you make people feel like, okay, they are too old or being old is a bad thing, this is what you get. You get people lying about their age. So as long as for me, oh, I believe as long as they are not harming anybody, as long as they are not, you know, coming to vie for any political post, that's where me, I draw the line, no. Because if you're coming, you know, to, you know, vie for a political post where I know that you're going to be in a position to lead me. Um, I should know when you were born. I should know if you have the mental capabilities to be a leader. But aside from that, um, I really don't, I mean, now you, now you a concern, you know, concern me. And yeah, that's what I think about it. Like people should be free to do whatever they want as long as they are not breaking any law and as long as they are not harming anybody. Yeah. That's what I think. Now, Big Brother Niger ex-housemate Saif put out this tweet that actually looks to me like he was mocking Chi-Chi. Yes, guys. He put this out and said, I don't laugh, so I they cry for this app. Make person enjoy birthday in peace now. Haba. He now put the um, laughing emoji three times. He now put the heartbreak emoji twice. And he now said, hashtag badmouth gang, hashtag TBMG. Like, when I saw this, it left a very sore taste in my mouth. Like, why is this guy always like this? Anyways, they dragged him so much that he had to come out and put out this post where he apologized and said, I apologize if I sounded insensitive. Da, you were. Um, he also went on to say, it's been deleted. Guess the tone of the voice wasn't right, but I still stand by my word. You all should really allow her celebrate her birthday. Haba. Now, Saif, I have something to say. And I think it's high time I get it off my chest. I have noticed this thing about this guy. He kind of capitalizes on whenever his fellow ex mates are being dragged. And for me, that is not a good character. I mean, he's doing it now to Chi Chi and people are kicking into it, even though he was dragged for it, you know. And I remember he did it when there was this whole issue between Daniela and um Fina at some point. He did it when um the others were still in the house, you know, when Groovy and Fina's relationship thingy was, you know, somehow, somehow he came out and put up that whole ass tweet. I remember. He also did it quite recently when Fina's merch, when people were like, oh, size merch is better. He came out and started retweeting some of those drag tweets against Fina. And in my head, I'm like, is this guy really Fina's friend? Is this guy really Chichi's friend? Is this guy really anybody's friend? Because a friend that will come out when you are supposed to be, I don't know, people are dragging you and all of a sudden that's when he remembers, oh, I have this thing. Let me post it. Like, God, mm -mm. nah, nah, this doesn't sit well with me. Like, seriously, nah, he should go and sit down. Like, he should, yeah, no, 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 no. But what do you guys think? This is my own opinion about Saif. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section. Now, away from that, before I talk about this whole Big Brother Titan that is going to be starting in five days, yeah, let's talk about this funny but crazy thing that happened on Twitter with Maria, ex Big Brother Niger housemate from the Shania I season. Now, she tweeted this, you know, in response. So a very well-known apostle in Nigeria, very, very um, respected one. This man has my respect. Apostle J Joshua Suleiman posted something, you know, um, where he said, may you experience my blowing miracles this week in Jesus name. Now, Maria quoted that tweet and said, amen, but I'm sorry, man of God. Are you the one that allegedly claimed I had something with? Oh, let me read that again. Amen. But I'm sorry, man of God. Are you the one they allegedly claim I had something with? No offense, but myself and partner just laughed out loud. May God be with you. Amen. I found you on a retreat. Please don't be offended. Like, is this necessary? 
Like, is this, is seriously, is this necessary? Like, when I came across this, I'm like, nah, maybe somebody like formed this, you know, maybe it was kind of like, you know, doctor, Maria cannot be this crazy now. How about, why would she even, you know, come out to do this? And voila, I saw it. She actually did. I'm like, what? Somebody, <clears throat> I don't even know what to say about this because it could make sense. Like, this does not make sense at all. Why? For me, I feel like that there should be a limit to things. It's not everything we cloud chase with. It's not everything you take. Like, what's the sense? Like, I know she's mistaking this, you know, particular man of God for another one. We all know. But... Mm. Anyway, she went on to apologize and said, I stand corrected. My apologies to Apostle for getting names mixed up wrong. Find it in your good heart to forgive my innocent tweets. Remain blessed. Omo, um, at this point, my tired is tired, Sha. My tired is tired. What do you guys think? Do you think this is honestly an honest mistake? Let me know what you think about it in the comment section. But I'll say this. It's not everything that comes to your head that you should put out. It's not like ugh, there should be a limit now. There should be a limit. So people can misinterpret this. And then before you know it, they start carrying, you know, gist about this, which is not even true. Anyways, away from that, let's talk about Big Brother Titans. It started in what? Five days. Are you excited? I'm not really that excited because to be honest, I have not really gotten over the whole big brother niger level up thing you know the whole mental you know emotional stress it put me through but ah big brother titan is about to hit us so the giants are coming hope these giants will actually live up to its expectation but but that being said, there's been a whole lot of back and forth going on on Twitter between Nigerians and South Africans. I, I will not be surprised if they turn this to, oh, he's a Nigerian, so we should support him because he's a Nigerian. I won't be surprised if that happens because from what I'm seeing, from the tweet I'm seeing, yeah, I, I can already envision that. Now, some people are actually saying that um, they've seen the housemates that they don't look that cute. I'm like, how? Like... Might not be cute to you. You don't know what's cute to is in there. Beg, beg, beg. You nobody should spoil the show for me. I know Big Brother is gonna be sending some cute guys. I beg. Even if I'm not going to be really invested in it, I want to talk about it. I want to, you know, be watching my screen and be seeing, you know, some six pack going on there, some fine faces, some chiseled up tingy. Yes, that's my own. I am a lover of beautiful things. But I just don't want this whole thing to be about Nigeria versus South Africa. I really just want it to be all about fun. People have fun. People vote for people because they deserve it, not because he's my countryman. Like, that's what I think about it. But are you excited about the new show? Um, my sentiment level is about maybe 40 30 out of 100 let me know yours in the comment section on that note i'd like to say a very big thank you to every one of you for being part of my channel if you've not already subscribed kindly click on the subscription button click on the notification bell to let you know whenever i post any new video until i come your way again i remain your darling girl azine williams